Gorm fleece, father dies twice today. rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Kuthormur, relay new use of our victory to your nephew, the king. I've done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, son. Another time.
Go, Sunan. See you, old friend. I like living in the longhouse. I feel like a Jarl. Yes, be ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd. For I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. 
I would sooner take orders from a louse. Eivor, my stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. Us Raiding is the surest way to find treasures and supplies for building up a settlement. Hello? I have to go. Farewell, Eivor. Tell me about what you do here. If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. Build something for us when you can, and then we'll get working. I'm off. Be well, friend. <sighs> My back hurts, standing here all day. We need a place to work. So long. Ah, there you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantabridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him, and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge, at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow.
this place. The last known location of the Summer Army. Friend and ally. I'm looking for the Summer Army. <laughs> Camp leader is up. What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yarsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we would separate bulk of our folk to the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Show me what lies ahead.
attack on sight here. So we're gonna be far. I should have a look around. There, a beached longship. Dane markings. Finish ya! Focus, we have this! <gasps> Scum! Cast about this land, my friend. You're still in fighting shape. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Ego, Ego, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. But we have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? 
It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grandbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bina, Galin, Leif. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grand Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grand Bridge? The elder man Wigmund seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grand Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Hot, bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. <laughs> Stretch your wings, Sunan. You must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retaking the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we will find them. Surrounded someone. Must be careful. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run.
Galen. You look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp. And as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. What do you see, Sunan? Survey the area sooner. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. Hearth outside? We handle it just fine. Have a look, Sunan. Let's keep in step this time. We handle it just fine. Thinking of Birna and Gallon, like ice and fire. This longboat is Birna's, I think. All scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. Danes held captive. Keep our wits about us. 
You are a true friend. Thank you. If you would be so kind, I've had it quite the day. Follow on, leave. Birna and Galen are safe at the camp we've made. Eivor? The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Sorma. All us that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grantbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. It 
Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Gal, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, the forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. You are Birna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. But Wigman's men hunted us. Here's my boy through his heart. He hadn't seen his 16th summer. Ah, we'll make him pay the blood debt. Him and all his Saxon allies.